What's up guys, Luke here again, welcome back to another Transformers Forge to Fight video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Revenge of the Fallen Megatron, a bot which I felt like I didn't need to use until I got his 4 star and honestly he's amazing. He's definitely one of my favourite bots at the minute. So if we go into his uh, maximum stats, obviously we have the gameplay in the background as per usual. So as a four star, his maximum stats is 12,281 health. I believe that's one of the most, uh, one of the highest rated health for a four star bot at max level. 794 attack, another one that's not the greatest, but his maximum rating is 5,543 at SIG level 99. So if we go to his basic abilities, we have unstoppable and range buff. So his passive, uh, this bot's naturally tough Cybertronian exterior provides a permanent 10% passive armor buff, which is amazing. When health drops below 80%, 60% or 40%, Megatron becomes unstoppable for 2.7 to 4 seconds. If Megatron misses a heavy attack while unstoppable, he has a 100% chance to increase attack by 40% for 10 seconds. Then obviously we have the all attacks. Megatron inflicts an impair, impair charge. We impair charges power up Megatron's tank cannon used during heavy attacks and on the special free. And then also on the heavy attacks, Mag Megatron gains a plus 5% critical chance for each impair charge on the opponent. If Megatron scores a critical hit, he consumes those charges and inflicts 2% crit damage per stack consumed so obviously we have his signature ability as well which is megatron always comes back megatron always comes back when health drops below 10 percent megatron repairs repairs 10 to 30 percent of his base health over three seconds which is approximately 0.15 percent per level if we go into his special attacks, his special one is overpower inflicts 10 impair charges really cool uh, can definitely get stack in those and then use the heavies the special two is peace and type tyranny i don't know how to i might have just completely butchered that but it increases range attacks damage by 26 to 40 percent for six seconds and then we have dark absolution inflicts 20 impair charges megatron gains plus five percent crit chance for each impair charge on the opponent if megatron scores a critical hit he consumes those charges and inflicts two percent crit damage per stack consumed so if we move on now to his synergy bonuses we obviously have enemies which is the dark of the moon bumblebee and the mv1 version of optimus prime increases attack rate and then we have the forged lead synergy with grinder bone crusher and barricade megatron's minions each provide him with a unique ability in return megatron provides two all the way up to eight percent armor to each bot and then we have forge to serve which is with grinder megatron has a 50 to 100 percent chance to begin the fight unstoppable forge to serve again with bone crusher he then has a 20 to 40 to 80 percent chance to stun an enemy when they reach 20 impair charges we then have another forge to serve with barricade megatron has a 25 to 50 to 100 percent chance to inflict two impair charges per hit and then leadership is only as a five star acting as a beacon of leadership all lower tiers teammates gain plus 10 percent special damage so obviously we go up against the strongest matchups here so everyone <laughs> like optimus prime megatron is the strongest of the strong he has a few clear weaknesses and should still instill should instill fear all who challenge him that took a lot of effort uh, also against drift drift depends on keeping his combo meter high a feat that will be difficult when megatron becomes unstoppable throughout the match as well as ultra magnus we have megatron is in is able to inflict impair charges on the opponent with both physically and energy attacks allowing him to easily play around with his resistance buffs the weaker matchups are Mirage and Wingblade. Windblade, sorry. Mirage is able to avoid Megatron's punishing range attacks while in race car form and avoid his special attacks by keep keeping the Decepticon's power low. Windblade is able to uh, slice through Megatron's powerful defenses with her armor piercing and bleed, including inducing attacks sorry so yeah megatron in my opinion is is definitely up there um, another bot that i would definitely take to rank for um i'm actually definitely thinking about it now um obviously when this uh video was made he's only rank three i believe so i might have to take him up to rank four but anyway that's going to do it for this video hopefully you guys did enjoy it if you did be sure to drop the video a like subscribe if you're not already i'll see you on the next one peace